Book 310. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about the unintelligent young girl and her overwhelming deja vu. That's right, the unintelligent young girl and her overwhelming deja vu. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, in a kingdom where intelligence was held higher than any other attribute a human being could possess, an interesting series of events took place. The four founders of this kingdom were all multi-geniuses, and so everyone who lived there aspired to become as intelligent and knowledgeable as the founders. One day, in this kingdom, a woman gave birth to a young girl. This young girl, who was one of my ancestors no less, was born with a learning disability that caused her to take longer to understand the subject than it took all of her peers. Because of this, everyone in the kingdom, including the young girl's own parents, thought very little of her, and they saw her as a stain on their entire society. Since this kingdom held intelligence higher than all other character traits, one of the main pastimes of the people was to play a game which they called Wajun. No one alive still knows the exact rules to this game. However, I was told that it was played on a game board with 215 squares. Each player had a total of 32 pieces and each piece moved in its own unique way. Strategy was extremely important in this game and one's ability to predict what one's opponent would do and the reaction of those predicted moves determined who was most likely to win. This young girl lost every single game of Wajun that she played and every time she lost, her confidence broke down more and more. The other children often challenged her to play because they knew they would win and they knew that no one could refuse to play once they had been challenged. Over time, the young girl became the biggest loser in the history of Wajun and she also became the record holder for most games played. She had lost to every single child in the kingdom and thus she was labeled the most unintelligent of them all. This status ensured that she would never get married, have children, and raise a family of her own. Her parents, being totally disgusted with her lack of intelligence, sent her to play Wajun in the neighboring kingdoms, hoping she could eventually win a game against someone and increase her chances of finding a husband one day. The young girl continued to lose, however, and her reputation of being unintelligent spread far and wide. Eventually, she returned to the kingdom of her birth and the children began to challenge her again so that they could win prestige by winning the game. As the girl sat down to play, totally uninterested, she looked at the board and a flash of recognition crossed her mind. Deja vu, she said. I feel as if I played this exact game before. The young girl then moved her pieces based on what she saw in her deja vu and she won her very first game ever in life. Totally excited, she screamed for joy. Another child saw this and was upset at her excitement. So they challenged her to a game so that they could beat the joy out of her. Deja vu, the young girl said as she played the new opponent and had yet another flash of a distant memory. I feel as if I played this exact game before. The young girl then went on to defeat this new opponent as well. After this, more children challenged her, and during every single game, she experienced a deja vu moment, and in the end, she was victorious. The young girl went on to beat every single child in the kingdom, and the people were shocked at how good her skills had become. When the people questioned her about how she was now winning at the game, she shrugged and said it was due to her deja vu. Every game she played felt like a game she had already played before, and so she was able to predict what her opponent would do next. When she explained this, an old wise woman in the kingdom stood up. I understand what is happening, the old woman said. You have played so many games against so many people that you have now seen every possible attack that your opponents can make in Wajun. And now, because you have played and lost more than anyone else, you can predict every move that your opponents can possibly make. Indeed, the fact that you continue to lose but continue to play has made you the best Wajun player alive. And so, the young girl went from being viewed as the most unintelligent person in the kingdom to the one held up the highest for her mental prowess. And so, the morning motivation of today is the unintelligent young girl and her overwhelming deja vu. Remember this if you do not remember anything else that I have said. You will never truly fail unless you quit trying to succeed.
Contained within every loss you may experience, there is a learning experience and a lesson. Embrace the lessons found within losing and remember the knowledge you have gained from being unsuccessful. Eventually, the reservoir of knowledge you gain will transform itself into wisdom and wisdom will give you the ability to predict the outcome of a situation so efficiently that it will feel like you can predict the future. So today, do not give up even when you lose and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning to order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series. Search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighearn.com.